Hello, today I am reviewing a new uh, diffuser. This is the cutest, smallest little diffuser I own, and you could put this in the car, which I'm going to try later, because it's small enough that the base is like a cup or a bottle that fits in your cup holder. And this is the very first time I've ever owned one that has a USB charge to it. Most of the um, diffusers on the that you see plug into the wall for home use, but this is great because I have an old 2007 minivan, and my boys are eight and a half and ten and a half, and ever since they were little ones, I got I got it in 2007, um, late 2007 when I had a newborn and a two year old, so. You can only imagine how beat up and trashed my minivan is, and there are old stains in there that won't come out. It just smells like old van. So having some uh, nice scents in my van will be lovely, and um, for driving around and on the go, and even during the daytime in, in the kitchen when I'm you know, at home, I like to use refreshing fragrances like lemon or sweet orange and sometimes even a little drop or two of peppermint and that keeps things um, very vibrant and awake and you feel very alert and energized when you use those scents so I'm going to test this out um, this has a little warning sticker on the top it says make sure to point the inner nozzle so the mist outlet on the cap uh, to the mist outlet otherwise the mist won't come out well that's pretty obvious but obviously they they wanted to make sure because if you look at it and line it up you have to make sure this little rubber nozzle is exactly lined up because if you try putting it down like sideways it won't line up properly so that makes total sense and then this little sticker part can come up peel off you just peel it right off now that I've been fully warned I'm taking that sticker off so here's the little uh, diffuser. It has the cap that goes on it um, after you fill it up, and it fits. It it fits exactly how it should be because look at that part right there. If you try doing it other ways, it won't fit. But when you line it up right, it fits properly. And then that part is the part that must be poking out to get it to work work properly. And then it's pretty clear. Here's the water level. I read the directions provided and. I will say that the directions are very good. The um, the it's clear, it's easy. There's images. There's a troubleshooting guide, and I've gotten directions for other products which were very unclear, and the translations were terrible. <laughs> but this one works. I really like that. So the water tank capacity is 70 milliliters. So I have a little measuring cup I eyeballed here. That's about a third of a cup. Um, my measuring cup does have milliliters on one side, so I've got it halfway in between there, 50 and 100. It might be about 0.75, so I'm gonna try it out. It does automatically shut off, which is very important because, you know, it's very easy to forget that you have something plugged in, so it's important that they're shut off. And I like this because it has both regular continuous mode and intermittent, so it will run for 30 seconds and then turn off for 30 seconds and that just gives a much longer use time and I don't usually have my diffusers going continuously unless I really want to get immediate impact with a very strong level so here's the water line level and I'm going to add some essential oil drops to it and what I like about the directions it gives you some tips it says two or three drops so I'm just gonna stick with lemon this time one two, three drops of lemon essential oil. And I use pure or, or um, therapeutic grade essential oil, organic or natural, and I always make sure that I have the best quality so it's um, a good, good thing. So putting it back on here, now that I've filled it, the cap's lined up properly and the little top part is. So I am going to plug it into this USB charger that I have, a little charging station and the little cord here that comes out on the bottom and plugs in is very handy. It's easy to figure out. And to, to work this, you press it one time for the light and it turns on a color and it goes through the different color changes. I'm gonna turn off the light so you can see. 
Okay, it starts off with red and it moves to yellow. And now it's um, like a lime green. It was very pretty. Now it's turning brighter green. It's very soothing the way the color lights um, go through. Now it looks like a very pale blue color, like an ice blue. And it's starting to get a little more bright blue. The color sharpens. And now it's a nice medium blue. It's funny because on the video it looks like it's doing a little bit of flickering, but it seems to my eye not to flicker, but that's just what happens on video. Now it's like a pinky color and it's turning brighter, turns deeper pink into like a hot pink. It's very vibrant. I like this one. This one's my favorite. And then if you keep holding it, it the pink transitions over to red. It's like a bright orangey red and now it's turning pale medium orange, pale orange, and shifts into yellow. So it's gone through the whole cycle of colors and it's back to green. If you like a certain color and you just want to keep it there, you press this button one more time and it's going to stay on that color. So you could just keep it one color only. And then if you want to, you can press it three times and it'll go either bright or dim which I really like because sometimes you just don't want it really bright like you want dim like this and then if you press it a long time a long press they call it the light turns off now to get the power to come on I'm gonna press the light back on you use this button slightly over to the right since there's two buttons press it once and you can see that the mist is starting to come out the top and that's continuous you can see the mist you can visually see it coming out as it runs. And then if you press it once again, you're going to get intermittent. So the second time you press it, it will go for 30 seconds straight and then it will stop for 30 seconds. And that'll give you a longer run time. And if you press it the third time, it will turn off. There, we've turned off. So one time, you press it, it turns on. Two times to press, it's now intermittent. As you can see, there's no mist coming out right now because I have it on intermittent mode. And then it'll start back up. So this is really cool. You don't plug it into a wall outlet at all. You just plug it in to any USB. And I have one of the um, USB charger units in my van and I use it to charge my phone. It's a dual charger, so I can charge my phone and I can run my, um, my little diffuser at the same time. So I can get rid of that old van smell. This is really nice. And um, when I'm done on long car trips or around town, I can just bring it inside and plug it into my little charging station. And I have another small little charger I can use around. So I love it. It's very cool, and I give it a thumbs up very nice this is very cute it's petite and it holds actually a lot of water I mean a third of a cup doesn't seem very long but it's got a decent run time so I'm totally satisfied with it and it's very small it's definitely versatile so thank you very much for watching the video and I appreciate your time